Hello ladies and gentlemen, hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Tech Team Trance channel. We're going to discuss this internals auto runs, we're going to give a general overview. This is a full complete video. Auto Runs is a Microsoft tool that identifies software configured to run when a device is booted or a user signs into their account. Legitimate software will often launch when the machine is turned on. Outlook is a perfect example as users browse their emails. In the event that a device has been compromised, any installed malware likewise will have to survive a reboot. When a machine is powered down, the malware needs an instrument to keep running on the device. To do this, it can utilize many genuine Windows U features that permit the software to launch at boot. Auto Runs is made up of multiple tabs, each containing data regarding auto start mechanism. So in this video, what we'll do is we'll go through the tabs in detail. I will show you how you download it. And I just did a simple Google search for the software. And uh, this is what came up. And I had to scroll down a little bit, get from Znet, get from several other places. Um, I was looking for the official site. That was not that easy to find. So I clicked where I clicked and I decided to download from here. Be sure to click the like on the way into the video. Be sure to share with a friend. Um, and be sure to subscribe if you're not already subscribed. So right now I'll download the video. Well, download the software. Download will begin shortly. And there it is. All right. So I'll just go ahead and open. What I did was I basically opened up the zip file that came with it, the download, and it contained multiple files. I just clicked auto runs and just let it run just to keep it simple there's a 64-bit version the ex is for that so we're going to explore auto runs okay so i'm going to look at the file menu you get your standard open save type stuff and you can compose compare quick finds it's your search and then you can do different things with the entry that's the different entry menu. My menu is not populated, and these are your options menu. Um, the software is still booting up and loading all the information for my system. But those are the different tabs in that particular menu item that you see there. That I'm just kind of pointing down. Then it has their standard help and about. Now, I'm going to go through and discuss what some of the tabs are. Now, as you can see, some of the menu items have indeed populated as my system has loaded it. So what you have is the Explorer tab that displays information on shell extensions. There are individual plugins for Windows Explorers. For example, being able to preview a PDF file. So I have it set to everything that shows everything from all tabs, but you can simplify your life by looking at the different tabs. Like the log on tab displays information for stand up startup locations. You got the Explorer tab that displays shell extensions, browser helper objects, Explorer toolbars, active executions, and Internet Explorer tab displays. And then you have the Internet tab for which displays browser help objects and things of that nature. And then you have scheduled task displays Tasks that are to, uh, configured to start at boot or log in. And then you have the, uh, the services tab, which display all Windows services that are scheduled to run automatically when a device boots. Drivers allows a piece of software or hardware to communicate with the device operating system. The drivers tab in all displays all the registered device drivers and device. Then you got uh, such things as. Uh, Image hijacks, which is with Windows registry that has a key to launch a certain process instead rejected to a, 
a different malicious process. And yet, at, at DLLs, which show DLLs registered to applications and all that. And yeah, when log on, yeah. All kinds of different tabs for whatever you need to see, and I'll just skip past the ones that don't really have anything. But this software is pretty in depth, and it deals with your startup processes. Pretty neat stuff. Um, it's healthy to use this, and if you want to search for malware or you're you're seeing processes, it'll color code the processes that are missing in yellow. It'll color code the ones in red or, uh, or, or pink that require a, um, some attention. So you can look on it, you get information about it from the system itself by just clicking on it. It puts all this information in one place for you. And then you have your um, buttons up there and it also displays at the bottom some information about what object you're looking at well so i i think it's a pretty handy piece of software to uh i mean as you notice there's a lot of things that should be of my concern however i know what these processes are and the, it may not be signed or verified and that's what's raising the flag in this software. So I'm just going through, scrolling, taking a look at what I have, what I have missing, anything like that. Which is interesting. I'm going to explore the, the startup processes more if I get something that I don't want starting or that should not be starting, that may be malicious then I could use something like this to investigate it. But this isn't the end-all be-all. There's more software out there, which I intend to cover on this channel. Thank you for watching. As you can see, this could be downloaded at https en.lo4d.com. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Like the video and comment if you have something information about the topic. Thanks for watching.